When I started to do this kind of work, things were less expensive to restore than they were to go out and buy something new. Over the years that I've been doing this, it's easily more expensive, if not as much, to restore something as it is to go buy something new because people have understood now the value of old things, the wood that they're built with, the way they're put together, the character, the personality, the style, the style that they have is much different, it's much more well thought. It's much more built towards their homes and towards the lifestyle that it used to be if, you're, if you like old things. Restoration, antique restoration, door restoration, restoration in general is the original recycling. My name is Ran, you know, I run Los Angeles Tripping and Finishing Center. Uh, I've been working, uh, doing antique restoration, restoration on all kinds of doors and different things for probably the last 27 years of my life, you know. Started out when I was about 16, 17 years old uh, on a work experience from high school. It was a friend of my mom's. He said he would try me out uh, in his finishing shop. He gave me two weeks of trial. Uh, I did it. He said, I, you know, I worked good and he, and he kept me on for the summer. I ended up working for him for about a year and a half before he ended up downsizing his finishing operation, at which time I ended up uh, starting up out of my garage. And over the time, you know, I would take certain jobs into L.A. stripping and finishing to have them do stripping or something for me when it was a little bit more than I could handle. If I got a big job that required a lot of stripping, I wasn't set up for that in my garage. So the owner knew I was doing that, and at one point he called me in a couple years down the line, and I got the feeling from him that he was kind of in the mood to uh, retire, you know, looking to move on from his business that he was running. And I told him at that time, you know, well, if, if you were going to sell it, you know, I'd be interested in buying it. And we ended up working a deal out on a handshake, and at that time I was 21 years old. My dad's a machinist and uh, you know I grew up working in his machine shop uh, at a very young age just through my childhood and helping out clean up or whatever. So it was a natural kind of draw to me just to be in a shop environment in general. I had done some wood shop in high school so I had some uh, experience with wood and I, I found it interesting. I think uh, it appealed to me that I like working with my hands you know. It was just natural just being inside a shop. I brought my brother over, you know, I, I quickly asked him, you know, would you want to come in as a 50% partner, offered him a partnership in the business. He decided to go ahead and do that and we worked together from like 94 up till about 2008. And we ended up doing really well, you know, moving the business into this location. So it was a big transitional period we went through. A few years later, my brother ended up moving on from the business. My nephew needed something to do who's in his 20s, early 20s, and he's been helping me out do a little bit of work. Things have been uh, doing really well, you know, for the last year or so. What my job is here, relating what the customer wants directly into what we're doing for the piece. When you have that kind of a connection with the person, what their wants are, and you apply it to the piece, your feeling through the process, if it comes out with the way you expect it to, is going to be that you expect them to be happy, and you know, that's usually the case. You know, being appreciated by people is, is something that, that I value.